Hello, this is Ken Yugert with the West Virginia Department of Education again. Um, I'm gonna. This is the second video in the series of uh, the Andover Continuum operations. Uh, my first video showed you how to log on, uh, and I probably didn't start back far enough for most of you. But this video is just to show you how to start the program itself. Basically, you go to the desktop of a computer that is based the workstation, and you may have a shortcut for it. You may not. There may be some uh, quick links down here for it, or it may not. But the, to find it consistently, you can look under the programs by going to the start down here, go to all programs, and somewhere you will have a continuum folder. This one just happens to be up here. And in that continuum folder, there will be the, the continuum program start or application button. If you click that one, you'll notice that it has the sideways 8, the infinity sign. I told you in the first video that it was silver, but it's gold. I'm, I'm colorblind, but I knew that anyway. But anyway, this starts the program. These other things you can use after that started, but it, you can get to it from other ways. This is a different way. But once you start that, click on that, and it will activate the continuum program. And it takes a minute to start. And it'll boot up to the log on, as you see, because uh, it knows you want to do something with it. So you'd put your username and password in there. Uh, we'll put mine in there. And then you are started with the program. From there, you can activate graphics, do other things, but until you get that, until you do that, you will not be able to activate anything. One thing I did not show you in the last one, if I log off here, you see that this is a different system than what we had the first time. Sometimes this alarm status bar kind of hinders your login name. If I were to log in here, see how see how it kind of sometimes it covers that. I'm not sure why, but you're, it's going to be right there. It's not very easily accessible, but just you're going to click on it from that point. So the first video shows you how to log on, log off. This one just shows you how to activate the program. Uh, again, if you have any uh, questions on this, send me an email, and we'll try to get through it. All right? Yeah, I'll stop this dude.